the summer rain nurtures everything. A variety of life forms emerge in southwestern Guangxi. The rock surface barely has any soil. The roots of the plants struggle against the solid surface. They have to work like a drill to make roots in the crevices. On top of the mountain, West Seboea renifolia attaches itself to the rocks. Exposed to sunlight in summer, the average surface temperature of the rock reaches 46 degrees Celsius. The plant's fleshy leaves with a waxy layer help it retain water and adapt to the harsh environment. On the low altitude slopes, luxuriant arbors thrive. Xianmu is unique to the Karst Mountains in Guangxi. It is an indigenous species. The Xianmu tree is the oldest in its family, about 2,300 years old. The Xianmu extends its strong roots deep into the crevices to absorb water and minerals such as calcium. The minerals accumulate in the trunk, making it rock hard. This 48 meter tall Sien Mu has a canopy that covers 800 square meters, offering shade requiring plants an ideal living space. In the dampness beneath the canopies lives a life form older than dinosaurs. Unique to Guangxi, the tea species can be traced back to ancient times. It is called the gold flower tea. In Guangxi, there are 40 kinds of gold flower teas, some of which are even 170 million years old. About a meter tall, they grow in rock crevices. The warmth and moisture on the forest floor offers a suitable environment for the gold flower tea. Guangxi has more than 95% of the world's wild gold flower teas. Hence, it is regarded as the birthplace of the gold flower tea. The southwestern Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region has a subtropical monsoon climate. The mean annual precipitation is about 1,500 millimeters. Because of the intensive evaporation on the moist and warm surface, 90% of the water taken by plants is eventually lost due to transpiration. The foot of the Rocky Mountain is dominated by shade-requiring and drought-enduring plants. The mosses cling to the bare rocks. In the mountains, this is a common sight. The mosses constantly secrete acidic substances to gradually dissolve the rock surface, which in result speeds up the weathering process and influences soil formation. To form one meter thick layer of soil, it takes 250,000 to 850,000 years. After thousands of years, rocks have broken down into sand and soil. Numerous plant species have been benefiting from the rocky realm. Mosses are indeed pioneer plants.